Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you the basic of the Cisco ASA Firewall configuration. Okay, for in this video, uh, it's really important for the starter um, and for the beginner that want to learn about the Cisco ASA Firewall. You have to know the bar about the basic command line. Okay, for the Cisco ASA. Okay, for uh, in this video, I'm um, show you how to configure basic command line for the Cisco SA firewall. Okay, and then uh, we go to the GNS3, and this is the lab that we have to configure basic command line. Okay, okay, this is the step that we have to configure. Okay, for the step one, and about the password or configure the privilege. Okay, for the step 2, I'm going to show you how to assign IP address or configure interface name, example, uh, inside, outside, or DMZ. Okay, and security level also. Okay, for the security level inside, by default, uh, 100. Okay, for this one. Okay, for the outside. Okay, outside. Okay, for the outside by default security level zero. Okay, and for the DMZ security level, uh, you can set between uh, one to the ninety-nine. Okay, and uh, for the uh, step three, you uh, can uh, enable remote line management. Okay, relative with uh, remote line management, you can configure Telnet or SA. Okay. For the step 4, you configure or change the hostname for the Cisco ASA, ASA. Okay, and for the step 5, you can configure routing Okay, for the static route. Okay, and then I'm um, uh, start from the step 1, uh, uh, the basic configure or uh, enable the password. Okay, for the Cisco ASA, by default, the password is uh, blank. So, uh, don't have the password for the Cisco SA ASA by firewall by default. So we have to enable the password for security uh, Cisco ASA. Okay, and then you can uh, configure the terminal. Okay. Enable the password for the Cisco ASA. Okay. I'm set the one two three. Okay, then I'm zip. I'm zip. Okay, enable. So one two three. Okay, and for the step 2, we am going to show you how to assign IP address to the interface inside, outside, and, and DMZ for the Cisco ASA. Before, I'm going to show you uh, how to assign IP address for the interface outside, inside. Sorry. I'm going to the interface. Okay, is one is it's mean the G G with one. Okay. Set the IP, follow our IP okay, and then no shine. Okay, and uh, then we go to the set the security level and it will be inside. Then hit inside. Okay, for the uh, interface inside. Okay, by default, security that you see 100. Okay, by default for the interface inside. Okay, and then we go to the uh, set IP address and set the interface name for the outside. Okay, by default for the outside zero. Okay, and then one more for the DMZ bus. Thank you. 
get the security level. Okay, for the security level, you can set between 1 to the 99. Okay, I'll set the 50. 50. Okay. Okay, for the step 2 already for the SN IP configure interface and security level. Okay, and then we go to the step 3 and about remote line measurement. Okay, for the line measurement, you can set and about the tenet or AS8. Okay, by the uh, recommend, um, uh, I'm recommend for you uh, and about the AS8 security than the tenet. Okay. Okay, before you uh, configure S8 or any more S8, you have to set the username and the password. The username, set the admin password, admin and admin also, and public 15. And then, triple A, ocean location, S8, unshow. Okay, and then crypto key generous or SA modular 10 and 24. Okay, and then call the SA into the, the first inside. For the this one is mean uh, we can remote as a uh, for the interface inside you can set inside or outside is up to you okay if you want to remote from the outside you can set outside okay okay this is a step this is a command that you have to know and for remote line management for the s8 okay and for the step for uh, change the hostname um, change the hostname from the Cisco ASA to the ASA okay this one to okay the same this one hostname okay and then for the step 5 configure routing okay and I'm um, use the step right okay right Shine. I'm right to the network. Okay, this network for the uh, VLAN 10 for the IP and this network for the VLAN 20, 20 and for the HR. On the hub address, one more. Okay, this is the command you configure start iral for the Cisco SA. Okay, for in this video, uh, we finish uh, step five. Okay. And for the next video, I'm going to show you the basic command line for the Cisco SA uh, to continue to configure the Cisco SA uh, basic command line. We use the DHCP and DNS or uh, one more the command. Okay, for this video, I'm finished only the step five configure start it out. Okay, this is the basic command line that you have to know that you have to learn about the Cisco ASA before you go to the advanced configuration okay okay for in this video I'm finished and the next video I'm going to show you the basic command uh, to continue to uh, basic command okay thank you for watching my video don't forget uh, help me to large comment and subscribe on my channel Cisco, my triangle or my Cisco learning.